Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Taurus for the week of April 11th through the 17th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel as well as given it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And the High Priestess. Well, there you go. So starting over with some fresh ideas, maybe talking to some relatives, somebody who has a little bit of insight for you this week. Maybe some answers to questions that you've had, that sort of thing. And the Page of Pentacles. So, what are you up to, Taurus? Opportunities are knocking, chances, new chances. Doors are closing on different things. New doors are opening for you. You're feeling more optimistic, a little more dreamy this week. And the Wheel of Fortune. Well, definitely, things are changing for you some sort of you know payoff and this could be in love or money increase a big career break you know changes is on the way for sure this week for yourself you're feeling more optimistic a little more dreamy a little more happy maybe you've heard from somebody or about something and and it makes you put a smile on your face that sort of thing and the king of swords all right so gemini libra and aquarius usually you're flooded with ideas you're attacking problems if there's any with objective you're finding solution you're making sure that when you do you're getting credit for what you're you know the efforts that you're putting into situations so you're moving forward knowing that this is the week that i'm making final decisions so you know getting paperwork in order you're you know you're preparing yourself you're doing it you know with the right intentions your communications are clear you're making headway in your thoughts as well on different projects and the queen of swords so yeah you're definitely just you know um <clears throat> sorry developing courage to speak your mind and not always feeling like if you do that you know i might say it with the wrong tone or maybe they won't talk to me anymore but i think this is the week that it doesn't matter anymore because you know that you have to to do this for your own sanity so you know you're facing the truth for all it's worth and you're not taking advantage of the situation. You're making sure that the situation doesn't take advantage of you. And the two of rods. So there you are. You know, you have the whole world and all kinds of ideas and prospects looking forward. And you're trying to make, you know, sound decisions. You know, you you don't want to make a decision and then, you know, in the future think that, oh boy, what a mistake. You know, you're making decisions going forward that's speaking to your heart so that you have follow through at the end and you don't have to second guess your choices. So that's beautiful. Yeah, you've put off making these decisions for a while in your life. You know, you've just, perhaps there was something that you needed to say to somebody and you're just trying to find the right words because you know, in, when we're unclear and it's not speaking to our hearts 100%, we hold ourselves back that way. So, you know, you don't want to compromise anymore. You want to be happy. You don't want to keep questioning whether you're making the right choices. And the eight of rods. So there you go. You know, you're moving forward. Maybe this is an invitation. Maybe somebody's getting a hold of you that you haven't heard from for a long time and and they're talking to you and, and you know, they invite you out or maybe somebody's popping by 
to visit you that you haven't seen for a while or maybe you're doing that to them and and you're having a really good time it's like just things out of the blue that are it just keeps revolving and it's going more and more and more and it's making you more happy as it's as it's going and the queen of pentacles so that's your your earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn you know you work hard you play hard you like material gains. You like to make sure that you're comfortable and no worries. Uh, this could be you starting over in a new business adventure for yourself this week. Maybe you're thinking of starting something new. All right. And the swords. So maybe you're overthinking something, overanalyzing something, needlessly worrying about something that's not even there, you know. And we all do that sometimes. Or maybe you've said something and, again, you're a little bit worried about the outcome of what you said. Maybe you, you did it with a little harsher voice than what they anticipated, that sort of thing. And it's left you wondering now. So you're all up in your head about how to maybe correct this or make them understand a little bit better. So you're losing a little bit of sleep over this, but you also know that with doing that, it can run your health down as well. So you're really, you know, up in your head about how do I go about fixing this, you know, talking to them without them taking it the wrong way. And how do I, you know, make them understand that the reason why I'm doing this is for me. Because you have a lot of possibilities there with the three of rods. You're making some decisions. You're standing on the the edge there looking out you've you know planted your seeds you've moved forward you've made some really good investments and you're just waiting for the returns and that can be in all areas of your life this could be your love life this could be your business life friends family you know but it is on good solid foundation so that's perfect and the king of cups so you're motivated to resolving, you know, problems within reason, you know, and if these are relationships, you're willing to resolve them as well, but you're going to make sure that this time it's done evenly. It's not one's giving more than the other or expectations are higher than need be so that you're stressing out all the time, wondering if you've made a mistake. <coughs> Pardon me. And the four of swords. Yeah. So you're definitely stressing over this and it's going to take its toll on you, you know, if you're not careful. So, you know, you can't force issues, but, you know, it's a heavy workload is also just as bad. Maybe there's been misunderstanding. Like I said, maybe you've said something and, and they took it the wrong way or, you know, maybe they said something and, and it's really affected you. It's, you know, made you re rehash and rethink your entire existence in some cases so it's set you back or maybe you're helping somebody you know who's had a little bit of um bad luck here you know maybe they're a little bit ill and that and you've volunteered to help them because in the past maybe they helped you so you're making some pretty big decisions this week on having these communications go well that you're not having to stress over them in the future wondering if you could have said something a little bit different or should I have done something a little bit different you're trying to make sure that before you do this these conversations that you're running through your own head all the time that you know it's clear and decisive going forward so you have um some sort of communication that you need to get off your chest so that you can keep going forward for yourself. And this is the week that you're going to step there and, and go forward so that you can have that, you know, the wheel of fortune going forward because you know that this has been going on for a long time. You've put off making these decisions you know, and these talks with people and you've just 
sort of try to keep everybody in harmony and happiness and this is the week that you're going to turn the table and make that happen for yourself all right i am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card all right you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts please don't follow please don't allow insecurities to hold you back i will help you that's beautiful all right and on that note i will say goodbye for now and i will talk to you soon until then stay safe stay healthy and bye for now